The crochet stitch we are looking at today, crossed stitches or K stitch, is special to me because it was the first special stitch that I learned as a little girl. From about seven, eight years old, I was using this here book to learn more crochet and I found that stitch in that. Any of the basic crochet stitches can be crossed over, but today we are looking at two of them, the double trebles and trebles using American crochet terms. So they are quite high stitches. In the details, there are many different ways how people do it, but I just show the one I prefer. Case stitches can be used on their own so that you make an entire item using only that stitch, a cushion cover, shawl, blanket, summer top, or you can use it as decoration in the middle of other stitches. I have these two small things that I have designed many years ago, a Christmas bale and a pram, and each has one row of case stitches in the middle of them. Let's look at the stitches a bit more closely first. And by the way, have you noticed that now you can also join my channel? This here one is done like two trebles on each side of the crossing point there, using American crochet terms. So each one needs four yarn overs when we start. And in this one, I have one row of single crochets always in between the crossed rows. In these two, the crossed stitches are the same, but of course look very different because of the different yarn. This here is a lot finer and also looks different depending on what there is in between the crossed stitch rows. So here there's one row of um, chain three loops and in here there's two rows. In this here, the yarn is mainly cotton and finger in weight, so it makes a very light kind of a surface that could be easily used for scarves or something for summertime. So let's see how we crochet these. We start with the larger stitch, this here, that takes four yarn overs when we start it. You need a chain of some length. For the sample, I just have a short chain, but you will need to have nine extra stitches then, because that's what we need in the beginning. So here's my chain, and then we start four yarn overs. Four yarn overs, and then count from not counting the stitch on the hook into the ninth stitch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And insert the hook there. And now we start as if we were doing a double crochet, yarn over and through two loops. And the same a second time. And then we leave that there and make two yarn overs again and skip one stitch and insert the hook in the one after. And now right through to the end, always yarn over and through two loops. Two, two, to the end. So it looks like that at the moment. And then chain one and two yarn overs. And then we need to attach that in the middle. Now, there are many different ways how people continue from this. And I'm only showing one here, the one I like best, that you go under already this here yarn and then the next one and that the half of that there the stitch. So you go under three loops at this stage. Take a yarn over and then again each time through two loops. So that's what you end up with then. And this is what you repeat. Now you may want to have one chain in between and if you have chains after this one then you need to skip as many here. And now I'll start one right away here, four yarn overs, twice through two loops, two yarn overs, 
skip one and in that one and then always through two loops chain one two yarn overs that loop that one and that no not both that one so there's three yarn over through all of those and then through two loops each time okay so now we have two i'll do a few more to the end of the row and then look at the row in between here and you can also have two chains in between here and then in that case you then also skip two here now I'm sort of at the end of the row and then simply chain one and turn and you could start here now so that you would put the stitches exactly corresponding where the previous row is here but I'll make a row in between and the important thing is then that you have the same number of stitches in this here row so your stitches don't increase or decrease and I'll have two in this here hole but then because there's an extra one there that means that I can't do both of these so I put the hook in between here so this is an easy way to do it you always have two single crochets in that there loop and then one in between till the end of the row and when I'm at the end I'll also have one in the loop at the end of the row and to start the next row chain seven and then you continue exactly the same so four yarn overs and uh, go in the stitches above where you have the previous row like in this here one next we'll do these here smaller ones so they are height of two double crochets using the American term two trebles in British terms so we crisscross them and here the rows are separated by chain loops so we'll take a quick look at that as well again you need a chain and uh, because it's going to be the height of two double crochets you would think you would yarn over two but we actually yarn over three times and I'll explain in a minute why so three yarn overs and then insert the hook in the sixth stitch from the hook one two three four five and six insert the hook there and pull up a loop and yarn over and through two just as if we were starting a double crochet and then another yarn over and skip one chain and go into the next one and then pull through two loops and now we come to why we had an extra yarn over because the crisscross bit gets better if you at this stage now pull the yarn through three loops so that one that one and that one and then yarn over and finish off chain one yarn over one and take these here two loops in the middle and yarn through them and then finish off here we are with the first one I'll do another one so three yarn overs go right into the next stitch another yarn over skip one and then through two and at this stage yarn through three loops and finish off 
chain one and attach in the middle with these two loops. There. I'll go to the end now, just a couple more, and then we look, look at these chain loops for the row in between. Here, and then we make loops of three chains. Turn, and the first one goes right in the first one, and uh, all the ones, we attach them here at the top bit of this crisscross stitch, not in between the stitches. So you go here, and then again chain three, next one, and till the end. And also at the end chain three and go into that tail loop that we had at the very start. And now chain five. And turn. And then we start the crisscross stitches so that they go at the same spot as the, other, as the previous one. So three yarn overs in that first loop and start a stitch there, yarn over and go in the next loop and now finish off first those three and then the rest, the middle, and then again three yarn overs and now we need to go the other side of the same loop. So here. And then a yarn over and on the other in the next loop. So that's how it goes. Well, I'll finish this one. Like that there. So there will be this hero in between and then these case stitches after it. In this here lazier one there are always two rows of these loops in between so that you go from loop to loop so they alternate. So that's what makes this sort of a very lazy looking. Now that you have seen how you crochet this, where would you like to use this? What kind of items or what kind of yarn? Please tell me in the comments. There are so many different crochet stitches. Check out this here video where I put together 10 different stitch tutorials. See you next time.